Welcome to lesson two, and we are going to continue um, looking at the night shift meeting on English lessons today. Okay, so looking at this image, I said to you yesterday, this is one of my favourite um, pictures from the book. I think it's really symbolic for the blossoming of friendship between um, Marcia and Eric, but also the um, the sort of end to the night shimmy so that he is becoming more confident. Okay, so what adjectives could we use to describe this picture? Pause the video, have a little thing, jot some down and see um, what ideas you get. Okay, so an adjective is a describing word, isn't it? So it's a word that we use to describe the image. So what could you use? So you could use bright, it's very bright and um, colourful. Um, I think it's happy, definitely um, symbolises a happy picture from the book. There's a lot of pictures in the book that we could look at that would symbolise something um, sad. Um, but we could definitely use colourful and happy, bright, cheerful, friendly, okay? Um, so I'm sure you've got lots of other examples. So today we're going to have a little look um, at something called noun phrases, okay? So my um, rap that I always sing for you in class, a noun is a person, place or thing. And a noun phrase is where you are using a noun within a phrase, the park, a kite, some trees, two children. They are four different noun phrases that we could use. They're not, that's not a sentence. They are separate. A noun phrase is part of a sentence. Um, and then there is very limited detail there. There's no description. There's no adjectives used there. Okay. Um, so we're going to look at expanding those noun phrases today to make them more um, interesting, to make them um, more, um, more interesting to the reader really and, and um, more enjoyable. Okay, so if we want to describe the nouns, so those, the person, the object, other things, um, we expand the phrase, okay? And we can do this by adding an adjective to tell us a bit more about the noun, okay? So the big park, okay? The huge park, the small park, different things. A bright, cheerful kite. So in this one, we've used two adjectives, very carefully putting a comma in between, because as we know, we use a comma in a list, a bright, cheerful kite. So there's two adjectives. Again, we've done the same again. Some small, thin trees. We've got two adjectives there, um, separated by a comma, and two happy children. So if we use two adjectives, like I just said, we usually separate them with a comma, okay? But again, they are not sentences because we don't know what a bright, colorful, a bright, cheerful kite. What? What about it? So they are a phrase, part of a sentence um, where we started off with the noun and then we've described it. OK, so we're going to have a little look at now using adverbs. The adverb tells you something um, more um, about the adjective. So the really big part. So it emphasizes that a very bright, cheerful kite some extremely tall, thin trees, two rather happy children. So again, not a sentence, still a phrase, but we're adding more detail to it. We are building up the phrase um, from just being a noun to an adjective and then adding our adverb as well, okay? But then what we can do is we can add what's called a prepositional phrase. And remember, a pre pre prepositional phrase tells you a bit more about where or when things happen or how they relate to one another, okay? So again, we're starting to add more detail to the to the phrase and build up to a sentence. The really big park with a singing gorilla, okay? So we're talking about the park with a singing gorilla. It's giving us a bit more detail to it. A very bright, cheerful kite beside the path. It's giving us a bit of detail where it is. It's beside the path. So extremely tall, thin trees on top of the hill. This bit here doesn't really matter if we have it or not, but it adds so much more to a um, phrase and then to a sentence. So we know and we can imagine things and we can create that image in our heads. Two rather happy children before bedtime. Okay, so again, it just paints that story, paints that image and gives us a bit more detail. Okay, so what you're going to do today is you are going to use the images um, that I've provided and you are going to write your own phrases about the image, okay? Think about um, adding an adjective, maybe an adverb, and then the pre prepositional um, phrase on there. And I can't wait to read some of your um, examples. So good luck and be as creative and um, give as much description as possible.